Do you want to buy the best players in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Well, if the answer is yes, don't buy FIFA points. Just head over to u7buy.com for your cheap, fast, safe and reliable Ultimate Team coins. And during the Team of the Year period, there is a special 14% bonus and 10 million foot coin giveaway. Make sure to use the code RRB at checkout for 5% off. So, do you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder? If the answer is yes, you're in the right place. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps, all right? All you guys got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, all right? And once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps. And once you guys have done that, I can then build your squad, all right? It's that simple, it's that easy. And then, you can end up like these guys. Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a meta overpowered 500k foot champion squad builder for you guys to use. This team is absolutely insane and like, like you guys can tell by the name and the title of the video, it's going to destroy your opponents of foot champions. It's going to increase your wins. So with that being said, make sure you guys do stay tuned and watch this video. But make sure you guys do smash a like on the video, subscribe and all of that good stuff. But anyways, enough of me on let's wait let's waste no more time and let's just get straight into the squad builder baby let's get it let's go okay guys so as you can see on your screens right now for this insane 500k squad builder the formation that you guys want to use is indeed the 433 third variation but that's just to get everyone on full chemistry at the end of the video i will show you guys what formation to switch to in game but with that being said let's waste some more time and let's just get straight into it so in the striker position guys we do have an incredible belgian player he goes by the name of dries mertens a player that i really really do like in this game he's pacey he's got very very good finishing he's good on the ball in terms of his high agility high balance ball control and dribbling all of that is just ridiculously insane in this game he's got four star skill moves on four star weak foot he is the kind of player that i, I like to use in this game and he's the kind of player that i think is a meta card and a, a player that you guys should think about again because as you guys can see he is a fantastic card and his stats are ridiculously insane so make sure you guys go in and get mertens you know he's got a good weak foot left foot right foot if he shoots more than likely he's going to hit that back of the net you know his finishing is very good his agility his ball control his dribbling as a whole is fantastic he's pacey he's got all everything that a striker needs so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Dries mertens but on the in the um, right wing position guys we actually do have a left winger but he's so good that i'm going to recommend that you guys play him in the right wing spot on seven chemistry obviously with loyalty and a manager he will go up to seven chem but he goes by the name of lorenzo insigne and is indeed that road to the final card now this is a card that i think is worth getting because they're most likely going to get through to the next round of the europa league which means this uh, insigne card has the potential to upgrade so i really really do recommend that you guys get this card and as it stands right now like his card looks fantastic man and the fact that has the potential to go up is just ridiculously in, in, insane man as you guys can see he's got 95 agility 95 balance 95 ball control 92 dribbling and 85 composure this guy here is just absolutely insane he he is just such an agile player and a player that I really I really really like to use in this game and as you guys can see he's got 94 uh, acceleration 86 sprint speed like it's just absolutely incredible so make sure you guys go ahead and get Insigne man he is a fantastic card he's got four star skill and he's four star weak foot as well you cannot complain when it comes to using this guy man like he is just so effective in FIFA and I feel like he's a little bit underrated like not many people use him so I'm gonna recommend him to you guys make sure you go ahead and pick him up but to complete the attacking trio we do have yet another Belgian player in the squad um a player that i really really do like in this game he goes by the name of eden hazard and again he fits that category of just being super super agile with good unbalanced good ball control good dribbling again that's the kind of player that hazard is is in this game and these are the kind of players that are the most effective players to use in this game as well hence why i do like to choose these high agility players a lot in my fifa squad builders but as you guys can see man hazard He's got the pace, he's good at finishing, you know, he's got good dribbling, composure, ball control, all of that stuff, man. He's a very, very good winger to use, so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Eden Hazard, all right? He is a fantastic player, make sure you guys go ahead and get him. But with that being said, guys, in the right CDM position, we do have an inform Zhao Felix, and this card here is absolutely crazy, man. Don't worry, he won't be playing in CDM, he's just here to get full chemistry. But um, yeah, with that being said, man, Zhao Felix, incredible player, make sure that you guys go ahead and get him, man. I really, really do um, 
I really do recommend that you guys go ahead and get him. Why can't I find him? Oh, because he's a CDM. Right. So, yeah, Zhao Felix, you guys will know if you do watch a lot of my squad builders and that. I've got him in the uh, Red Foot Champs version. This guy's ridiculous, man. He is just absolutely insane. And I really, really do recommend that you guys get him. I've got a lot of, a lot of experience with using this card. And let me just quickly show you guys I do have um, my boy Zhao Felix because he's absolutely incredible, man. Make sure you guys get him. Five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Um, he's pacey. His finishing is ridiculously overpowered in this game. He is so, so clinical. Left foot or right foot, it doesn't even matter with this guy. He is clinical. Um, his agility is very, very good. His dribbling, ball control, all of that stuff is fantastic. And in-game, it feels even better than what the stat does say. Um, um, but yeah, this guy's fantastic. And as you guys can see, he's got a great record for me. 171 games played, 142 goals and 90 assists. Fantastic player. Make sure you guys go ahead and get my boy, Zhao Felix. But in the central center mid position now, guys, we do have um, Marcus Lorente. A great card, a cheap card, but in my opinion, a meta card to use. So make sure you guys go ahead and get him. He's very, very well-rounded. You know, he's good at defending. He's good at attacking. He can pretty much do anything on the pitch. So that's why I do like him. You know, in any game situation, he's pretty, he's pretty reliable. You know, if he's on a one-on-one -on -one or I don't know if he finds himself in a good shooting opportunity more than likely he's gonna score you know if he's in a good range he can score because his finishing is quite decent he's got four star weak foot as well um in terms of his defending he's, he's pretty decent I mean he's got three star weak foot sorry my bad but um yeah like overall Lorente is a decent card to you so I, I do recommend that you guys go ahead and get him but to partner up with Marcus Lorente in the center mid position we do have none other than my boy um Federico Valverde man a very very good player um, I think you guys know that Valverde and Lorente, they're good cheap meta, meta cards. Like they're not expensive, they're not high rated, but they're very, very, they are very, very effective in game, and that's why I do like them. Valverde's got the pace. Um, his defending is very, very good. He's a very, he's a very, he's very similar to Lorente to be honest. They're both kind of well rounded, but I'd say defensively, Valverde is much better. Um, in terms of yeah, the Valverde is much better defensively compared to him going forward. But I think Lorente is better going forward as well as um at defending. But yeah, both very very good defenders. Uh, def uh, CDM, sorry. So make sure you guys go ahead and pick them up. And with that being said, guys, let's waste no more time and let's get straight in towards the defense. Okay, so moving on in towards the defense, we go. We do have in the left back position one of, or if not the best left back in the game. He goes by the name of Furlan Mendy, an absolutely fantastic fullback, as we all know, one of the most meta cards to use in FIFA 21. So make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up. As you guys can see, he's got five star weak foot, four star skill moves. He's pacey, good at defending. We already know that Furlan Mendy is an incredible player. So the point is just go ahead and pick him up. But with that being said, we're going to move on and in towards the right back position guys we do have um jesus navas a good a cheap option to use in fifa 21 in my opinion you know someone that can just get the job done very very reliable player so yeah just make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up he's quite pacey he's got good agility he's got four star skill moves he's good at defending yes i know that he's weak but honestly i don't really think it affects his game um at all because i think he's um, a very very good overpowered player to use so yeah and as you guys can see man he's dribbling like the dribbling side of his game is fantastic he's got 84 dribbling 83 ball control 81 agility good defending stats you can't really complain he is a fantastic player make sure you guys go ahead and get him but with that being said, guys, we're going to move on and in towards the two centre-back positions we go. We do have two French Liga players and it's a great partnership. It's a partnership that I really, really do love in FIFA 21. I think it's a partnership that a lot of people should start using. I mean, everyone uses this guy here, Raphael Varane, because we all know, hands down, one of the best centre-backs in the game. Make sure you guys go ahead and get him. Raphael Varane is an absolutely fantastic card to use. So, yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up. Um, we already know that he's fast. He's good at defending. He's strong. Like, he's got all the attributes great center back in this game needs so yeah make sure you guys get him i think i don't really need to waffle on about this guy i think we will, we already know that this guy is one of the best center backs in the game but to partner up with him we do have a slightly more underrated player but i think a lot of people do appreciate how good he is though i'd say he I, kind of I, I mean now nah, he's not underrated i just think that he's not as used um as much as he should be maybe i don't know but um i, I guess that is kind of the definition of underrated but who knows the point is this guy is a very very meta card he goes by the name of kunde and it is indeed his inform card so make sure you guys go ahead and pick that up this card is fantastic it's got the pace defensively he's fantastic as well um yeah he's a very very good set about to have he's got 80 sprint speed 80 acceleration good defending stats you can't really complain about using this guy he is absolutely fantastic so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up right make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but 
yeah he's a great card and i really really do recommend him to you guys and with that being said to complete this incredible meta overpowered whatever you want to call it 500k squad builder in the goalkeeper position we do have an informed french keeper he goes by the name of my nan i'm pretty sure that's how you say his name mike my nan I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it but yeah his informed card looks absolutely fantastic i i used his gold card but that was literally like day one of fifa i remember when i had like a very very cheap league one hybrid or something like that and i used his normal gold card way way back at the start of fifa 21 it was pretty decent but i think this informed card is a very very good card to use you know he's got good diving good handling good kicking good reflexes and good uh, uh positioning as well so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up he's a very very decent option to use but with that being said guys as you can see on your screens right now this is the incredible 500k team that you guys want to use and before i get into what formation to use in game i just want to say to you guys that you will get 100 chemistry just make sure you convert a uh, jao felix to a uh, center mid so he does get full chemistry and then yeah you guys will have full chem especially when you have a manager in the team as well but for the formation you guys want to use the 4 2 3 1 formation of course a very very overpowered formation to use in fifa and um in this formation this personally is how i would set up i would recommend that you guys do this so you'd have hazard on the left jao felix up top mertens on the right all right guys i think that's what you should do and i think you should have insigne in that cam position because insigne is so so good in that central area you know you can turn very very quickly he's got ridiculously high agility and balance i think in that cam position that's the perfect position for him so i really really do think you should put him there and then obviously like i said put mertens on the right and then put lorente and uh, valverde in the midfield together in the cdm spot so that is how you guys want to set up in game make sure you guys do that but anyways i hope you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys do leave a like on it also subscribe and turn on post notifications as well if you did enjoy but yeah stay tuned because i should hopefully be uh, uh, be uploading another rtg episode very very soon but uh yeah if you guys did enjoy it let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this incredible team and uh yeah until next time it's been your boy rb plays and peace